diabetes. <laughs> Did you know your diet could be causing your diabetes? That's right, the food you consume can have a major impact on your health, and that includes the risk of developing diabetes, particularly type 2. It's a startling reality many of us fail to realize until it's too late. But don't take my word for it, let's delve into some hard science. A recent study published in Nature Medicine has thrown a spotlight on this issue. The researchers from Tufts University, led by Megan O'Hearn, have made a revelation that's more than a little concerning. They've found that around 70% of newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes cases globally can be traced back to poor dietary choices. Imagine that nearly three quarters of these cases potentially preventable. If only we paid a little more attention to what we put on our plates. So what's on the menu that's causing such havoc? Well, the culprits might be closer to home than you think. The study points a finger at a few common food substances that many of us consume on a daily basis. We're talking about excess wheat intake, refined rice and processed meat. These everyday items, often staples in our meals, could be silently pushing us towards a life with type 2 diabetes. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? That the food we enjoy, the food we often rely on for convenience, could be contributing to a global epidemic of this chronic disease. But knowledge is power. And now that we're aware, we can make informed decisions about our diet. Remember, it's not just about cutting out sugar or reducing calorie intake. It's also about understanding the impact of these food substances on our bodies and adjusting our diets accordingly. So, take a moment to think about it. Look at your plate and ask yourself, is this helping me stay healthy or is it nudging me towards a risk I'd rather not take? Your plate might just be your unseen enemy in your fight against diabetes. It's time to take a closer look at your bread and rice intake. You see, wheat and rice are staples in many diets worldwide. They're the foundation of our meals, the canvas upon which we paint our culinary masterpieces. But could these everyday foods be contributing to the global epidemic of type 2 diabetes? According to a recent study published in Nature Medicine, the answer is a resounding yes. The research conducted by Megan O'Hearn and her colleagues at Tufts University points to a significant connection between excess wheat and refined rice consumption and the incidence of diabetes. Let's break this down a bit. Wheat and rice, especially when refined, are high in simple carbohydrates. When consumed in excess, these simple carbs are quickly converted into sugar in our bodies. This sudden surge in blood sugar prompts our pancreas to release insulin, which helps move the sugar into our cells for energy. Over time, however, a diet rich in these simple carbs can lead to increased blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Simply put, our bodies struggle to keep up with the sugar rush, making us more susceptible to type 2 diabetes. But here's where things get interesting. The study also revealed regional variations in diet-related diabetes cases. For example, Central and Eastern Europe, Central Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean showed higher incidences of diabetes linked to specific dietary habits. In these regions, foods made from wheat and refined rice are not just dietary staples, they're deeply ingrained in the culture, a part of every meal, every celebration. This cultural significance makes it even more challenging to address the issue, as changing dietary habits involves more than just personal choice. It's about altering centuries-old traditions. So what does this mean for you and your dinner plate? It's not about completely eliminating wheat and rice from your diet. Instead, it's about moderation and making informed choices. Choose whole grains over refined ones. Understand the impact of your dietary habits on your health. Be aware of the hidden sugars in your meals. Rethink your daily bread and rice. It could save your health. And what about that tasty processed meat you love so much? Could it be that the mouth-watering sausage, the juicy hot dog, or the tantalizing bacon strip you crave is concealing a hidden danger? Processed meats, while delicious and convenient, often harbor substances that can escalate the risk of developing diabetes. One such substance is sodium nitrate, a preservative commonly found in processed meat products. While it helps to extend shelf life and maintain an appealing color, it can have serious health implications. The high sodium content in these foods can lead to increased blood pressure, which in turn may exacerbate insulin resistance, a key factor in the onset of type 2 diabetes. But the story doesn't end with sodium nitrate. 
Processed meats are also typically high in sodium, a mineral known for its role in fluid balance and muscle function. However, when consumed in excess, sodium can contribute to hypertension, a condition that can strain the body's insulin-making cells, worsening or even triggering diabetes. Additionally, the inflammation triggered by these harmful substances can also play a significant role. Chronic inflammation, often the result of a diet high in processed meats, can lead to the body becoming less responsive to insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. In the grand scheme of things, that occasional hot dog or breakfast sausage may seem insignificant. But when these choices become habits, they can contribute to a larger, more insidious problem the global epidemic of type 2 diabetes. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that pack of processed meat, pause and ponder. Is it worth the risk? Processed meat, a delicious danger, might be worth reconsidering. So what's the way forward, you may ask? Well, allow me to guide you through the path that leads to managing and preventing type 2 diabetes effectively. The key lies not just in the quantity of food you consume, but more importantly, in the quality. Let's begin with the usual suspects. Excess wheat, refined rice, and processed meats. They might be easy and quick to prepare, but remember they are major contributors to the global epidemic of type 2 diabetes. So it's time we reassess our plate. Instead of reaching for that white bread or polished rice, why not opt for whole grains like brown rice or whole wheat bread? They are packed with fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugars into your bloodstream, helping to keep your blood sugar levels stable. And when it comes to meat, the processed variety is a no-go. These often contain unhealthy fats and added sugars. Instead, lean towards lean proteins. Grilled chicken, fish, tofu or legumes are not only delicious but also beneficial for your health. Remember, the idea is to create a balanced diet that includes a variety of foods in the right proportions. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains should be the stars of your meals, with processed foods taking a back seat. But it's not just about making drastic changes overnight, it's about taking small, sustainable steps towards better health. Start by incorporating one healthy food into your diet each week or by swapping out one unhealthy food for a healthier alternative. Every little bit counts. Remember, it's not just about eating less, but eating right. Your health is in your hands, or rather, on your plate. 